Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. In this video, I want to discuss about the previous year question on statistical physics. Uh, actually, uh, we want to discuss the question which asked in University of Calcutta in fifth semester in the year of 2021. Uh, you can see this is the total question paper of this statistical physics in this year 2021 of marks 50 this is question number one of the a to g then question number two three four five six and seven okay so i now uh, want to say all of you you just try to solve this question at very first in your beginning mm, at start you just try to solve this question and then continue to watch this video solution for solution you can go through this video uh, today actually in this video i want to solve uh, we will be discuss uh, only question number one that is a to h will be solved and the upcoming video will be continue the solving this part so this is the part one in this part we want to discuss the question number one that is a to g clear i think clear about the sequence of this video so uh, go to the first question question number 1a which says so that for a canonical system that is e minus e bar whole square that's bar equal to kt square cb where cb is the heat capacity at constant volume so you understand this notation this notation says this is e is an energy e bar is the average energy they are difference squared that is the standard deviation square okay is will be like that so we uh, take in into the left and left hand side we take the left hand side so you take the whole square of this equation and take the average so this is the average of e square this is the average of e average woods average is e average but the average of e is e average and this is e average already square so it's nothing change so you can see these two gives you minus e average square so this is e square average that is the taking square first then average and this is taking average first then square now we want to find out this two one like that you can see this is the e average e average means g i epsilon i exponential minus beta uh, epsilon i epsilon x actually the energy you can write down e i no problem i just noted as the epsilon i so gi is the degeneracy epsilon i exponential minus beta epsilon i where beta is the 1 by kt since the average of energy so that's why this is the epsilon i here i take this as a z z is the partition function so z is nothing but summation gi exponential beta epsilon i if you take the z partial derivative with respect to beta you will be get that is minus gi epsilon i uh, e to the bar like that just you take this with respect to beta you will be get exponential this one and with respect to beta you will be get minus epsilon i if you take second partial derivative with respect to beta you again will be get the minus epsilon i so you will be get gi epsilon i square okay so this term that is g i epsilon i e to the power minus beta epsilon i that's one this gives you minus del z del beta so from here we put minus del z del beta and in case of epsilon e square average this will be epsilon i square uh, this is the lower part is z and the upper is gives you del 2 z del beta square so you will get the at average value of energy will be minus 1 by z del z del beta and the average value of epsilon square gives you 1 by z del square z del beta square clear now you can see here these two can be written as del del beta of this one because if you take this derivative of second part will gives you this one and the derivative of first part that is minus 1 by z square del z del beta whole square i think clear you just derivative this partial derivative with this beta you will be get this line no problem in case see this is nothing but this e bar with a minus sign so this can be written as like that 
now you can change as like that because the cv is nothing but the heat capacity which can be written as del e bar by del t that is the average energy with partial derivative with respect to temperature so just change this variable t to beta so this is del e del beta so del beta by del t i know beta is 1 by kt so del beta del t is nothing 1 by kt square so just replace this value at minus 1 by kt square so cv equal to like that so just this can be written as uh, minus kt square by into cv so this is the minus this minus and this is cv minus kt square so right hand side is proved I think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box go to the next question next question says a particle of mass capital m is falling freely under gravity starting from rest suppose this is a particle at any height falling freely under the gravity draw draw its phase trajectory so you consider at time t equal to 0 its velocity is 0 at x equal to h when the position is h okay so after a position p is velocity v time t and this separation that is distance from this ground is x so from this 1d motion equation v square equal to u square plus 2 a s so v is v square e is initial velocity which is 0 a is the acceleration which is g and distance this is x and this is h so this separation will be h minus x now we need to change this velocity into momentum so that's why we multiply the m square in both side so mv which is gives you the momentum p square and right hand side like that so p is root under like that we can take plus minus but uh, here this momentum is uh, coordinate taken as the positive only you can take also plus minus no problem so at x equal to h you can see this is zero so at highest point x equal to h this momentum is zero and with x equal to zero you will be get the maximum momentum so this curve will be like that i think clear about the phase trajectory of this free free falling particle go to the next question which says the entropy of a black body radiation is given by this so this is the entropy of a black body radiation now you can uh, you, you need to show that is pv equal to e by 3 so this is the expression of entropy just change the uh, uh, just calculate uh, or you can say just express the e in terms of other parameter like that e to the power 3 by 4 is nothing but 3s by 4 sigma v to the power 1 by 4 so multiply all to the power 4 by 3 in both side you will be gave left hand side e and right hand side will be like that and you know the pressure is minus del E del V at constant T. So you need to derivative partial derivative with respect to volume. So that's why we uh, take the other part as a constant and volume part here. So take the partial derivative of this volume part will be will be obtained like that. And this can be written as in this way. And you can see this is nothing but if you expect one third, this is nothing but the value of E. So replace the C, you will be get this. Uh, proof okay next question next question says consider a free particle inside a 1d box of length l uh, 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 this is a 1d box with length x length l calculate the number of microstate between the energy e and e plus d for free particle there is no potential energy only kind of energy that's why the total energy of the particle is p square by 2m so p is plus minus root under 2me so this is plus minus root under 2me now the energy is e and e plus d so for e this is uh, 2me is constant value and for e plus d this is another constant value so this region will gives you the phase within that region okay in the two side so the area in this phase space will be 2 into because of 2 side 2 into the area of this region is nothing but L into this one that is the uh, big rectangle area minus the small rectangle area. This is the value of X is L. Clear? Base into uh, length into breadth the area of rectangle. So L into this one X into this one and this one. 
So if you take common as like that, you will be this uh, and this binomial expansion, this will give you like that. Okay. Now number of microstate. You know in one D the length of uh, a state can occupy the minimum length to occupy any state will be h the Planck constant in 2d this is h square in 3d this is h cube since this is 1d so this minimum length to occupy a single state is h so number of state this is the total length actually this is the total length uh, uh, signify here so this total length by h will be like that so this is the number of state in this question i think clear next question Next question says, can lithium-37 from BEC, Bose-Einstein condensation, give the result. You can see this is a proton number is 3, neutron number is 4, so the proton is 3, so the spin can be 3 by 2, 1 by 2, number neutron is 4, the spin can be 1. So overall spin is the odd multiple of up. So this cannot be a boson because you know in case of boson the spin is their integral multiple and in case of fermion the odd multiple of half so these are not a boson since these are not a boson so this cannot perform the bose einstein condensation in the other uh, word you can remember that is the mass number and atomic number if mass number odd number Atomic number even or odd, the spin can be uh, odd multiple of half. Uh, if both are even, then spin is zero. If mass number even and this is odd, this can be this. So from this uh, from this data or you can from this table you can also give the answer since the atomic number and mass number both are odd. So this is the spin will be odd multiple of half, and this cannot be a boson because in case of boson the spin will be the e integral multiple like that so for uh, for boson the mass number is even and atomic number is odd will be the condition so since this is a not a boson so this cannot form the bose einstein condensation next in how many ways can five identical ball be distributed among three identical boxes where each box can contain any number of rows so this is identical that means these are the indistinguishable that means this can be boson or fermion but here says the any number of ball can occupy this property only hold for boson because in fermion they obey the Pauli exclusion principle which says in a particular state only one electron can occupy okay so with an one energy level there is two uh, electron can occupy like that so this is the simply boson and you can you know the in case of boson the number of microstate will be ni plus gi minus one factorial ni factorial gi minus one factorial where ni the particle gi the place you can remember in case of the maxwell boseman that is the for classical that is for distinguishable not identical this distinguishable then the number of microstate will be like that gi whole to the power ni where gi is the place and ni is the number of particle in case of bose einstein this is ni plus gi minus 1 whole factorial by ni factorial into gi minus 1 factorial this is in case of the bose einstein statistics and in case of fermi dirac statistics this is gi c c is the combination ni okay so you need to remember these three things and you uh, understand this is the bose also you apply this formula and put this value there is five particle and the three places so just putting this value you will be get 21 so there is 21 possible ways to arrange this configuration next one next one says three container each of volume v there is three container and each volume is v contain n particle and the temperature is t so <laughs> these three property that is volume number of particle and temperature these three are same or identical for this two uh, these three container only difference is this one is classical another is bose and the number three is fermi gas so within first one within classical <laughs> gas second one is the boson gas and third one is fermion gas 
okay so you know from the kinetic theory of gas that is in case of the ideal gas the pressure will be exerted one third rho c square due to due to repulsion when the particles are collide with the wall it scales the pressure so actual cause of this pressure is the repulsion so in case of classical gas this behaves like a ideal gas so this value will be like that but in case of boson they are the attractive property so this attractive property reduces the pressure compared with the classical gas so if you compare the pressure of classical gas with the boson then the pressure of classical will be classical gas will be higher compared with the boson gas so due to this attraction only x with the photon which is a repulsion property also but due to this attraction property the pressure of the boson is lower compared with the classical gas but in case of fermion they are they they obey the pauli exclusion principle which gives the repulsion property and this repulsion property enhances the pressure of this gas compared with the classical gas so in in the order of pressure you can say the pressure of fermi is greater than the pressure of classical gas is greater than the pressure of boson so our question was the highest pressure so highest pressure gives the fermi gas i think clear up to this three uh, this six question uh, seven question actually uh, if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box and in the next video we will be discuss about the upcoming question of this paper also and the theoretical part you can go through the description box there is given link given you can see the theoretical part also right so that's it for today this is all about me this is my contact detail and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get different feasibility video some mathematics like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you need this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming video so take care we'll meet to the next video as soon as possible thank you